Hey, Dennis Tubergen here with another market update. Today is Thursday, May the 10th, 2018. And today I want to look once again at the U.S. government bond, the long bond. I have on the screen an exchange-traded funds price action. Uh, this is a monthly price chart. Again, we're using a Japanese candlestick chart as we normally do. Every bar on this chart represents one month of price, one month of price action. Uh, the green bars represent months that bonds rallied, which means yields dropped. The red bars represent months that bonds declined, which means yields advanced. So, yeah, it's important to remember that bonds uh, and yields uh, move in inverse directions. So when uh, bond prices actually fall, yields go up and vice versa. Now, why do we want to keep such a close eye on this? Well, one of the reasons is that the U.S. government has $21.2 trillion in debt officially, not to mention significantly higher liabilities. That's a number that will never be paid with honest money. Uh, we have proven that mathematically in other updates. So there's really only two choices. One, uh, there'll have to be massive cuts in spending. According to Professor Lawrence Kotlikoff, about 47% across the board. Uh, or uh, there will have to be additional currency creation, uh, which is really the Keynesian way to attack this problem. Should that continue to be the preferred way to, to uh, attack this problem, uh, we'll see every currency in the world move the way of the Argentine peso, which we recently talked about, um, and, and significant inflation. So let's just take a look uh, with that backdrop, that perspective on where U.S. government bonds are. On this monthly chart, you can see I've drawn an upward price trend channel. It's identified by the two uh, roughly parallel blue lines on the chart. And you see that all the price action going back about nine years, really almost 10 years, is contained in this price trend channel. You can see that right now, bonds are at the low end or at the bottom part of this price trend channel. So yields are uh, fairly high, although uh, not nearly as high as they were when bond prices were uh, much lower here. So in order for this price trend channel to remain valid, we're going to have to see bond prices rally from here, here and yields decline. Now, if you want to understand what's really going on in a market, you want to look at it from multiple perspectives. So here is the same exchange traded fund, but now we're looking at this uh, on a weekly basis. So every price uh, bar on this chart now represents one week of price action. And you can see that we've got a pretty solid upward price trend channel here. Uh, pretty valid. It's been tested three times. Recently, however, it's broken down through that price trend channel and we have seen uh, what might be labeled as a kiss goodbye. We've seen a rally back to the top line of that price trend channel, and now bond prices may be declining. To get yet another perspective, we look at a daily chart. In a daily chart, we see that we have a downward sloping triangle. We have a line of support here, not a perfect support line, but it is of late here. Uh, it's been tested roughly four times. However, whenever you see a downward sloping triangle, typically that means that we're going to see a downward move. So the forecast here looking at U.S. government bonds purely from a technical perspective would be for bond prices to decline, meaning demand will, will, will really uh, subside, and we'll see yields increase. Now, when you look at the fundamentals, that tends to back that up. So... Uh, short term here, we're seeing a bit of a rally in the U.S. dollar. However, understand that those rallies in currencies are relative, not absolute. So again, currency diversification as well as asset diversification in this type of environment, we believe, is really important. That's today's market update. It's Thursday, May 10, 2018. I'm Dennis Tubergen.